law of multiple proportions. This law was proposed by Dalton in 1803. According to this law, if two elements can combine to form more than one compound, the masses of one element that combines with a fixed mass of the other element are in the ratio of small whole numbers. For example, hydrogen combines with oxygen to form two compounds, namely water and hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen, 2 grams, plus oxygen, 16 grams, gives water, 18 grams, hydrogen, 2 grams, plus oxygen, 32 grams, gives hydrogen peroxide, 34 grams, here, the masses of oxygen, that is, 16 gram and 32 gram which combine with a fixed mass of hydrogen, 2 gram. They're a simple ratio, that is, 16 is to 32, or 1 is to 2. Gay-Lussac's Law of Gaseous Volumes This law was given by Gay-Lussac in 1808. He observed that when gases combine or are produced in a chemical reaction, they do so in a simple ratio by volume provided all gases are at same temperature and pressure. Thus, 100 ml of hydrogen combines with 50 ml of oxygen to give 100 ml of water vapor. Hydrogen, 100 ml plus oxygen, 50 ml, gives water, 100 ml. Thus, the volumes of hydrogen and oxygen which combine together, that is, 100 ml and 50 ml, bear a simple ratio of 2 is to 1. Avogadro Law In 1811, Avogadro proposed that equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure should contain equal number of molecules. Avogadro made a distinction between atoms and molecules if we consider the reaction of hydrogen and oxygen to produce water, each box contains equal number of molecules. Two volumes of hydrogen combine with one volume of oxygen to give two volumes of water without leaving any unreacted oxygen. Avogadro could explain the above result by considering the molecules to be polyatomic. If hydrogen and oxygen were considered as diatomic, as recognized now, then the above results are easily understandable. Dalton's atomic theory. Although the origin of idea that matter is composed of small indivisible particles called atomio, meaning indivisible. In 1808, Dalton published a new system of chemical philosophy in which he proposed the following. One. Matter consists of indivisible atoms. 2. All the atoms of a given element have identical properties, including identical mass. Atoms of different elements differ in mass. 3. Compounds are formed when atoms of different elements combine in a fixed ratio. 4. Chemical reactions involve recognition of atoms. These are neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. Dalton's theory could explain the laws of chemical combination.